He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. I want to jump back to hockey for a sec. The call up to uh, your first NHL game in Pittsburgh. Mm. What was that like? Where were you? What were you doing? Who called you? And then what was uh, what was like the the transition of getting to the rink and playing? Yeah. Um, John Hines called me. He was my coach in uh, in Wilkesbury. Okay. And so he called me. Uh, I was napping because we had a game that night in Syracuse. I think the crunch. Yeah. And. Uh, I think that's how it went. And he called me, woke me up from my nap, and told me I wasn't going on the trip. And I said, <laughs> I said what? Great news. Sending yeah. me to the coast? What? Yeah. I didn't know <laughs> didn't know why, you know. And then he told me that uh, I was getting called up and playing in New Jersey the next night. And uh, I didn't, <laughs> I'm so I get the goosebumps now yeah. here, right? I got goosebumps. It, it yeah, was, me too. Uh, it, was, it was pretty <laughs> incredible, you know. That was five years. Five years in the American League. It, at that point, I was thinking, eh, you know, maybe it's not going to happen, but I can – I'm pretty good at this level. I'll be able to make a career out of it mm. here, you know. Anyway, so I got the call and and I held together for that call. Didn't break down or anything. And then uh, after that, I called my parents. <laughs> called my parents, and that one was a that one was a, a bit of a tearjerker. Yeah. You know, it was it was pretty special. And Pittsburgh actually ended up flying my mom and dad down to the game. Stop. So they got to see it. Yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that because they're probably not allowed to do no. that. No. Yes, they, they are. That looks so good for them. That, in my yeah, head. That is unbelievable. Yeah. They don't have they to do, do that. that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So how did you? Okay, was, sorry. I'll keep it was, going. It was nuts. Yeah. yeah. So I, then I, I honestly, it's hard to remember, you know, because I, li- I think I started the game and then I ended the game. And I was like, and the whole fucking game was a blur. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Step on the ice, stood on the ice and went, you know, 190% the whole fucking game. <laughs> you know, just gassed. Probably only played seven minutes. Just destroyed, though. Every muscle in my body was aching the next day. Cause I'm just... They're like, who is this guy going like this, man? Holy shit. Yeah, just not thinking, just skating. But, no, it was pretty uh, It was pretty amazing. Whenever the media talks about the Pittsburgh dressing room and all those boys that have been there for so long, they always say it's the most welcoming room in the NHL because obviously you talk about Sid and the leadership group there, everyone just welcoming you know, newcomers like yourself, I guess, at the time. What was your experience walking into that room for the first time? Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was amazing. You know, going into the hotel, you know, the first meeting, the first going to the rink, you know, all the older guys were, were unbelievable, like uh, Dupuy and Kunitz. Yeah. Uh, flower he was awesome mm. you know like i sat beside him in the dressing room he's like just down the such, goalie stalls man he's such he's a prank in like, day one go yeah. like, go lucky guy you know like just nice nice good character guy um they made you feel really you know really at ease and that helped because yeah. you, you got a few nerves running through you doing that jeez i'd imagine yeah it's crazy your whole life you work for this moment and then it's finally here and you just said yourself like you just kind of black out you don't re- re- really realize it because you're in the moment it's crazy how that just kind of comes true and you work so hard for you know a moment in life and it happens it's it's crazy like what was the the, the from midget to that day like thinking about didn't make pick though <laughs> we were gonna play junior b and then bam now you're getting the call up to the show to fucking pittsburgh above all else maybe 10 years ago pittsburgh wouldn't have been that crazy just because like yeah lemieux and all that shit was there but they weren't winning yeah and then you go into there and they're a winning team and it's like holy shit you know like this is way different than the true bearcats dressing room <laughs> <laughs> you know under the, under holy the bleachers shit. yeah the, the old ring i beam right beside you <laughs> no it's uh yeah i don't man it was uh it was so super special, and I got to stay up there for, you know, a little bit too. So that was uh, yeah. That was. Uh, How long were you there the first time? I don't know if I went back down That's right away, or I was up for twenty. I played twenty games that year. So think, first year there for 18, twenty, then the second 20. year for forty-two, and then you got traded to Toronto. Yeah, but yeah, I baby. think I think I stayed. I think when I got called up that time, I think I stayed up. For the 20, right, right off the bat. Oh, so just all saying. bam, right there in that shot. I think so, yeah. I think I recall that because that would have been one of the bigger stories around here at the time, especially with, you know, media starting to take heat and, and or like heat up and stuff like that. Yeah. Obviously, everyone knew Sid was there and like who else would have been from Nova Scotia in the NHL at that point, honest to God. Yeah. So it was like, that was the <laughs> yeah. huge thing, right? So it was, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it went. Yeah, I think that's what, I think that's what would happen.